right, so I'm inside of my 2007 Dodge Ram 1500, and I'm going to be towing a camper on here, so I wanted to add uh, electric brakes. So I just picked up this uh, uh, Kurt one right here. There's the part number, ordered it off of Amazon. And uh, you apparently need the, uh, the plug uh, to be able to plug into your into the um, truck right here so I ordered that as well and also have some zip ties for the all the extra cabling and of course this to snip off the extra uh, zip ties uh, pieces for the zip ties so we're going to get this puppy all started up and uh, connect it up okay and right, so the first thing we're going to do is plug this into the into the truck and so they already have one down here. I'm on the driver's side over by the emergency brake pedal. And let me see here. I get my flashlight so we can have a little light under here. As you can see it, it's already there ready for me. This right here. You see it? So it's already there. Just gotta get it out and uh, we'll get that all set up. You see it? The blue one? And we're gonna just plug it into that, okay? Alright, so what I'm gonna do is take my new plug here and I'm just going to plug it into this blue plug. it up got to do it one hand there we go and there we go plug and play plugged in so now we're going to take this the other end of this route it around uh, to where we want to mount the uh, electric brake uh, probably just route it over some area and then we'll get this connected up as well so here's everything from inside there you have your mounting bracket some screws a quick reference card uh, there want the instructions <laughs> Uh, the instruction manual, but we don't need that and here it is here and this is going to plug into the other end of the plug we just did so I'm thinking I'm going to mount it on the right side of my steering wheel maybe somewhere around uh, let's see here that wouldn't be bad right there at least it won't be right there at my knees so that would be cool so I'm thinking maybe somewhere around here may be good for a mounting point. All right, so that's where I have it mounted at. And so now I'm gonna to move to the next point of putting the actual unit on there. There's a couple of screws that come for putting them in through that side, that side. And then we'll plug it up. Figure I'll have it mounted like that. That way I'll have easy access to the uh, manual uh, braking and to all the switches at the same time. All right, the screws are attached. So now I'm gonna take this in here. All right, so now I'm gonna take this in here and plug it into that end. See they're similar, the male and the female. So I'll plug those in together. See if I can do this one-handed. If not, I will turn the camera off and do it without you guys. Almost got it. <laughs> I'll do it without you guys. All plugged in. And uh, See there, we got our light from pushing on the manual. And now I'm going to uh, do some zip ties just to get all the wires nice and hidden instead of having those all dangling down like that. All right, all done. I think that took all of maybe, I mean, without filming it, that was really maybe a five, 10 minute job. Really easy, pretty straightforward. I'll provide the links to the things that I purchased to make this uh, 
go smoothly. Um, if you liked it, hit the like button. I have some other YouTubes on my Dodge Ram, on my Jeep, and other cars that I own. Um, so please subscribe and uh, check out some of the others. Thanks for joining, guys.